In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a slab cylinder. So the first thing you got to know about a slab cylinder is you are using what's called a slab of clay. This is a slab of clay. It's a piece of clay that's rolled out to a certain thickness. Um, the easiest way to do this quickly and accurately is to use paper as a template. So you can see this paper here. Um, and the nice thing about paper is it's really flexible. So let's say I took a standard piece of paper and I rolled it up. As you can tell here, if I rolled it up like this, I'd get a cylinder like this, right? So it's long, tall, but you can cut it down to different sizes. So as you can see this one, this is the one I'm gonna be using today. This one, I cut it down to a certain width. Um, if you don't trust yourself cutting it really, really straight, you can ask me and I will cut it down on the chopping board for you to get it to the exact size. I picked this width because it's kind of like a standard coffee cup. So you can see there when it's done, it's gonna be about that tall. So I'm gonna take this and you need to go to Mr. Biba and ask for a slab of clay and I will roll out a slab for you. Sometimes the clay is not in the right consistency. So remember there's different stages of clay. We have wet stage and the leather hard stage, and bone dry stage. If it is in a wet stage or in a bone dry stage, obviously you can't use in those stages. Wet stage is kind of too soft because it sort of collapses on you and the bone dry stage is too stiff and it'll kind of crack. Um, so first step, I was gonna take my template and I'm not gonna go right in the middle because I wanna make sure I'm not wasting clay. So I'm gonna put the template in a spot where I think it's good. I'm actually gonna use a ruler. A lot of kids, they just wanna trace the paper on the sides, but if you have a wavy edge, it's gonna be wavy on your actual cup. So I'm gonna mark up the ruler here, line it up, and then I'm gonna use the knife tool, straight up and down, make my first line, move it, make my second line, Move it, make my third line. And then find the fourth one. So I can take off that excess there. And that is all done. And I have a nice slab to work with. Okay. Now if I were to just take this and roll it together, you're gonna notice something here. You have this big fat seam. Now, some people like the seam, but if you don't, if you want it to be like a smooth edge, what you can do is what's called like a bevel. And all that is, is you take two different 45 degree angles, like one side is this way and the other side is this way, and they kind of come together. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's kind of confusing right now, but you'll notice, you'll see it once I cut it. So if you look here, I'm leaving about like a quarter inch of space there. And then I'm gonna take my knife and then hold it at a 45 degree angle doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna cut the edge. And you can kind of see there, that 45. And this is crucial, because if you don't do this right, it's not gonna work. So once I roll this up, this one has to be a 45 on the opposite side. So easy way to do that is I just flip it like that. And then I cut it the same way. Great, so now we got that. And as you can tell, they are lining up. We have those two 45 degree angles. There it is. Okay, now we go to that slip and score. So I'm gonna take the one side, use my slip cup, and I'm gonna scratch the one side. This clay is super, super soft right now, so it's not as crucial to slip and score, but we're still gonna do it to add strength to it. Take my wooden needle tool, mix it up a little bit, put it on there. And then I like the thing with this part, like you're a surgeon, like you're stitching it together. So we're gonna gently kind of bring it together. You gotta, you gotta work it, and if you like try to force it automatically, that's when stuff cracks. So you can see I'm kind of moving it together slowly so that it doesn't crack. And then I need to line up my seams. You can see like right there. So I'm gonna slowly push them together. And once I get them lined up, then I'm gonna start smushing it. So you can see there, I'm st so slowly stitching it together, smushing it until I get a 
a nice seam where I don't see that overlap. So I got that, that, that top done, and then the bottom's the easy part. So now we got our cylinder. We'll take clay, and we just gotta trace the bottom so that we can cut it out to put on the bottom of the cylinder. So you can use a wooden needle tool, and I use a knife and I end up hitting the side, so I'm gonna switch to the wooden needle tool because I don't trust myself. So I lift that off, and it's super important when you take this off, you don't like deform it, otherwise this circle just isn't gonna work for you. So I'm gonna cut this out, make sure the knife is straight up and down, and like if I like see how I messed up on that one spot, that's okay, you can just cut that out later. I'm purposely messing it up for you so that if this happens to you, I can show you what to do. But once that's out, like if this little bump out is there, I can always just cut that off. And then there are like, there are a ton of different ways that you can put a bottom on. I'm just gonna show you the simplest. And if you wanna know different ways, I can show you those too, if you don't like the way that, how this way looks. But essentially what you need to do is Score the bottom here. And then score the bottom of this. And then once those are both scored, put the slip on both sides. We'll put it on the top. And then Kind of apply some pressure on there. Once I got that all attached, then I can flip it upside down and I'm gonna start smushing the sides. So I'm just rolling my finger, attaching the sides, and then that's it. Then you got a cylinder.